It was only a matter of time before we got all the fun tools and capabilities updated for WAN 2.2. Well, today I'm happy to tell you that WAN Base has been updated fully support the 2.2 model. In case you don't know what it is, WAN Base is an all-in-one editing model compilation that allows us to do control net, in painting, first frame to last frame, character reference, all in one single model. On top of that, the 2.2 version, which has been released by Alibaba Pi, not by the original LAN team, has also incorporated various other releases that they've done recently, including WAN 2.2 Fun and WAN 2.2 Fun Control Camera. In case you didn't know, WAN Fun were a bunch of lore that provided some of the WAN based functionality such as first frame to last frame, control nets, and better camera controls. Those have all been wrapped in together with a few additional functionalities into the VASE model. Now, the model comes in two flavors, in a separate LoRa, which we're not going to cover today, and an all-in-one model. I'm going to go through my all-in-one WAN Comfy UI workflow, how VASE is set up to work, and how you can get started using it now. The model just came out a few days ago, so I haven't dived into it as deeply as I would like. But over the coming date, I will also release updates to this workflow for GGUF as well as the separate model and LoRa combination. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So I've got my WAN 2.2 all-in-one workflow over here. If you're a Patreon subscriber, you have access to this. It's been updated to support the WAN vase workflows. We've got text to image over here image to video over here, text to video over here, and a little upscaler experiment using the 5 billion parameter WAN 2.2 model. I've added all of the vase and fun controls down here. You can see some of them ongoing as I was running a generation earlier. Let me walk you through how I've got it set up. Up over here on the left, we have the control net section. I'll label these later, where you can set a video and a reference image and what control net you want. Those feed into a couple of reroute nodes which take you to different parts of the workflow. If you just want to use the control net or the character reference and control net, you need this rerouter over here. If you want to use the control net within painting, you use this one down over here. This section over here controls all the master settings where we can put in our positive and negative prompts as well as all of the model loaders. And then over here, we've got three rows that control different parts of the WAN base functionality. Up here is control net and character reference. This works regardless of whether you have a character reference. So this rerouter over here feeds into this WAN vase video along with control video, a positive and negative and vase are loaded in over here. And then all of this goes out to our K samplers. So we've got our high model and our low model over here. The parameters are already set up. I'll let you have a look at them, but the key points here is we're using 10 steps because I've got the light 2VX LoRa's loaded up in the main set settings area. If we come back down here, you can see we've got the high noise model here, which feeds into the lightning LoRa, our shift sampler, and the sage attention patch. We've got the same here for the low noise model. And that allows us to have 10 steps where I've got the CFG to one. The high noise model starts at zero, ends at seven. The low noise model ends at seven and ends at 10, even though we've got a thousand set up over here. Make sure that you've got add noise set up over here as enabled, add noise disabled here. And for this top case sampler, we want to return with leftover noise and return with leftover noise is disabled down here. You can see over here, I've got my character Lydia doing a TikTok dance that I grabbed from YouTube and the quality is phenomenal. This one over here was made with DW Pose and I'm running another one with the depth estimator and see how that performs. Down over here, we've got start frame to end frame. It's very similar to above where we've got the starting frame over here, the ending frame over here. Those feed into another WAN video vase start to end. You set your number of frames here. That feeds into a WAN vase to video where we've got the images going into the control video, the mask going into control mask. In case you wanted to use a mask, our positive and negative prompts go here. And then all of this feeds into the K samplers like before. And then finally down over here, we have our mask in painting feature. We've got segment anything here to grab our main subject from the image. We grow that mask out, put it all together in WAN vase to video, and then that's plugged in to our positive and negative K samplers. And that's pretty much it. Just a quick video putting together the WAN vase workflow. I will have some additional videos where I dive a little bit deeper into Vave and explore how it runs on other platforms. If you want to get access to this workflow, it is available over on my Patreon. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.